Okay, so with the mat cat meowing in the background. So step N, mm -hmm. um, and the, he, it's interesting, he left number of blank. So what did you see when you looked at that pattern? Well, it was like the number of maybe cubes, number of cubes, or maybe the number of dimensions. Okay, which one did you see first? I saw the dimensions. Okay, so step one had how many dimensions? It had one this is dimensions. And I saw cubes. Step two had how many dimensions? It had two dimensions. Step three? Three dimensions. So it looks like... Step four? Four. Step five? Five dimensions. Step six? Six. Okay, now for the hard one. Step ten? Ten dimensions. Now for the ultra hard one. Step 37? 37 dimensions. 37 dimensions. Whoa! Interesting. Mm. Okay. Now, what did you see? I saw a number of cubes. Cubes. Okay. So, step one, there were three cubes. Alright. Two, there were nine cubes. Alright. So, it's going to increase by three. 27, step 4, 81, mm, step 5, yeah, 243, step 6, 7, 29, step 10, step 10, yeah. well, that's 3 times 3 to the ninth. because you start with 3 and you're multiplying by 3, 3 squared, 3 cubed, 3 to the 4th, 3 to the 5th. Alright. What is 3 to the 9th? Mm -hmm. It's also 3, it's just 3 to the 10th. Oh, why is that? Because it's 3 times, it's 3 to the 1 times 3 to the 9. Ah, which is? It's 3 to the 10th. 3 to the 10th, Maybe okay. Maybe I should just leave it like that. Alright. Yeah, I not. I don't know myself what 3 to the 10th is, but I do know what 2 to the 10th is, do you know? It's 1,024. Four? Yeah, that's right. It's good estimate. It's a good estimating trick. Two to the tenth is about a thousand. Yeah. All right. Now the thirty-seventh step. It's ten. Three, three to the thirty-third. Yeah. See, now that's interesting because when you were multiplying them out, it certainly wasn't clear what three to the what the thirty-seventh step was going to be. Yeah. yeah. But we can write it as three to the thirty-seventh, and that's easy enough to calculate. We could just go to Wolfram Alpha or something. Yeah. Okay. Fascinating. Fascinating. So now, um, now that we, I actually didn't understand uh, why he left that blank, the number of, but it's cool that you guys saw two different things. So I like that. So number of dimensions, number of cubes, All right? Now, even though uh, we can't really build a four-dimensional thing, let's see if we can figure out, using some of the connections we saw, what this four-dimensional shape with 81 cubes would look like. And since we don't have cubes, we'll have to use magnetile. We'll have magnetile, so this will be number one. Okay. Okay.